So the first hack is to prep a comfortable area. I like to prep the area and make sure I have everything laid out before I style the hair. I'm prepping it with all of my favorite styling products as well as my styling tools. Everything I know that I'll be using when I'm doing her hair. And I like to do it in a comfortable place. Usually in my videos I am doing hair in a chair but that's only for videos. Most times we are doing it in the bed because this is her favorite place to get her hair done. So the next hack is to do it at a time that works best for you and your child. 7.30 on a Sunday night works best for me for this style in particular, which only took an hour. Which brings me to my next hack is knowing realistically how long your child can sit and get their hair done. As you can see, my child is usually very patient and that is because we started doing her hair I started literally when she was born by brushing her hair and then around three to six months I did start styling her hair. So if you've been watching my daughter's hair journey, you know that um, she's gotten her hair done at an early age. So I started at doing her hair at 30 minutes. Now we can last about two and a half hours doing a hairstyle fuss free, but this takes a lot of time and a lot of training. So gradually work your way up to these type of styles. And if you are just learning and you're doing something that's based on time, I would definitely recommend easy hairstyles like twist outs and braid outs, which only take about 30 minutes. And since we are still on time, that brings me to my next hack, which is watch a movie. Every time we do her hair, we always watch a movie. And I always plan the movie around the duration of the hairstyle. So Moana is about an hour and a half. So I like to do something that's only going to last an hour and a half because that is going to keep her attention while she's getting her hair done. Hey y'all, I know I look a mess, but that's okay, it's Sunday. But that brings me to my next hack, which is uh, if you're like me and you've watched Moana over a hundred times, have something to entertain yourself while you are doing your child's hair. So I like to put on my headphones and I like to just watch YouTube videos while I'm doing her hair because this kind of keeps me entertained and she gets to enjoy watching her movie without having to hear what I'm doing. And my next hack is to take a quick break. When I say quick break, I mean like less than 10 minutes because your child will get fussy and not want to get their hair done again. So I like to take a quick break, give my child a snack, go potty, and then get right back to it. My next hack is to do hairstyles such as cornrows and braids, any hairstyle that requires you to do a lot of separating of the hair is to do it on stretched dried hair so all the hacks that I told you about before um, do them the day before and then do the styling the next day so that you can break up the task and there's no tears so I'm pretty sure you guys know this hack which is never ever 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 detangle on dry hair and always work from the ends to the roots here I am starting from the bottom and working my way up anytime I do her hair I always 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 make sure her hair is has moisture in it before a comb even touches her hair this will eliminate tears this will eliminate fuss and getting hair done can be very very traumatizing if it hurts so you always want to make sure the hair is moisturized whether you're braiding it whether you're twisting it anything you do you always want to make sure it's moisturized so your fingers can glide through the hair the comb can glide through the hair and your child can be happy and it can be a great experience for the both of you and my last hack is to always make sure that you are praising your child for doing a great job because the child is the star of the show and you never want to make hairstyling a traumatizing process. It should be a bonding experience for the both of you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to thumbs up and share it with a mom who may find this helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye!